but I'm excited to be in Hollywood. Woohoo! Yay, Hollywood. Yeah, so tell us, uh, what have you been doing here in Hollywood? Where are you going to be partying? What did you think of the Palms Bar? We took you there last Friday. Oh, that was fun. Um, uh, let's see. Well, I got here on Thursday. Mm -hmm. And I had a lovely time. Sassy has family here, so I got to see her family, which was awesome. Very nice. Um, and then on Friday, we came into Hollywood, and we went to the Palms. Mm -hmm. And it was great. Everyone was so lovely and nice. And I got to meet Ms. Monroe, who we're going to see tonight. Yes, Ms. Monroe. Uh, yes, yeah. birthday girl. And she's gorgeous. Like, gorgeous. Like, I have a little bit of a girl crush on her. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm excited to see her tonight. And the rest of the weekend, we just hung out and did a lot of girl chatting and a lot of um, shopping. And we got, yeah. on Saturday night, we got to go to the Abbey. We went to the Abbey and we and saw some old Earwash. college friends. Yes. Yes. Which I, I hadn't been to, which is craziness. Yeah. What's going on there on what, what night? Uh, Friday? Saturday night. Saturday? Like mayhem. Mayhem in West Hollywood. Yes. Like, there were men, there were women, there were bachelorette parties, there was, like, it was insanity. Yeah. But here Lounge was a little bit more laid back and, and kind of nice. It was fun. It was good to kind of check the whole, whole scene out. What did you think? How does it compare uh, to New York? Um, well, first of all, you can be outdoors at <laughs> this time of year, which is lovely. Um, it's a different scene, definitely. Everyone is pretty here, which is really nice. Every, you, there's eye candy everywhere, which is awesome. Um, it was interesting because the Abbey and Here Lounge are so close together <coughs> that they almost seem like one entity. So we went out one bar and we went into the other and um, just crowded and everyone's so lively and... Um, you can smoke because there's an outdoor patio, so there's smoke everywhere, you know, and in New York, where do you smoke? You have to go outside and, and whatever. Um, so it's fun. I'm excited. And while we were there, there were drag queens that climbed up into the planters above the doorway that were like out of control. And then the fire department came because yes. someone got taken was, out on a stretcher. It was very yeah. dramatic. It was kind of scary. I mean, yeah. luckily, you know, I was, you know, I had a few drinks, so I wasn't uh, that scared. But it was kind of interesting to watch this poor man who was convulsing on a stretcher. It was a little scary. But it was a little scary. But isn't that the Hollywood dream? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I guess so. That's, I mean, at least it wasn't Lindsay Lohan. Right. <laughs> People come to die here in the club scene, outside Viper rooms, and, you know, all those places. It was scary. So that's what Hollywood is known well, for. Um, well, tell, you, tell me, you guys went to the Abbey, which I'm always curious about the Abbey, because whenever we meet all these straight boys, they're like, oh, we're going to the Abbey, we're going to the Abbey. I'm like, isn't the Abbey a gay bar? And I guess now it's mixed, or what was going on there on Saturday nights at the Abbey? It's the cool, um, the cool, hip, formerly gay place that straight people want to go because it's cool. I mean, that's what it was. Like, you know, it was bachelorette parties, and, you know, after a while, you know, all the straight people want to go to the cool, underground gay place, and that's what the Abbey is. And it, it, was, it, it seemed very straight to me. Like I, it was very. There were a lot of straight people there, and it was definitely much more mixed than you know even most of the the New York um, clubs. But I think that even in New York, there's been a lot of you know people who come into the city that specifically come to gay bars, uh, straight couples mm -hmm. um, that want to experience that you know lifestyle. But I think I think it's a wonderful thing to embrace, right? Absolutely. I mean, we want we want everyone um, to get to know us, and we can get to know them. And right. you know, the more we know, the less we're scared of each other, and mm -hmm. it's a good thing. Right. I, I love the mix. I thought it was awesome. Yeah, I thought it was absolutely great, and I love that we can all party together. So there was a little bit of everything: men, women, gay, straight, yeah. tranny, lesbian, like everybody. <clears throat> yeah, when I went there, they had lesbians and everything, um, because I was here. And used to go there when it first became like the Abbey, the hot, trendy place. Mm. But it wasn't like it is now. It was just kind of like just another West Hollywood bar. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, you know, when I left and then I heard Christina Aguilera was there and then uh, Hillary Clinton partied there. So I was like now, then after, then it became like the hot, trendy place where everybody had to go and party, you know, right. in West Hollywood. Well, and we got some we got some gossip about who used to come um, very close to the end of her life. They would um, 
wheel her down to the Abbey. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Taylor. Taylor. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, Miss Elizabeth Taylor. I remember that. We saw a few celebrities. Yes. We, we did. saw, um, what was the gentleman's name from the Christopher Guest films? Michael Hancock. Michael Hancock, yes. He's lovely. He's so funny. I love watching him. So we had a little star sighting, which was fun. And um, if you ever watch Funny or Die, we yeah. got to meet uh, Billy from what's the show? Uh, Billy on the Street? Billy on the Street was Who, there. And he's yeah. lovely. Fantastic. So shout out to Billy. Good meeting you. Yeah, it was so great to meet you. It was uh, really fun. Yes. Yeah. Um, and the... Um, but we're talking about Elizabeth Taylor, they said that she would come in, they would wheel her in, and she would have a cocktail, and they have this huge picture of her. Painting, yeah. Yeah, it's wow. really just very, a very um, iconic and amazing that, you know, she's so immortalized. Because she was such a, a fan to the, um, um, an icon and, and supporter of, of um, the gay community, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I remember and seeing, now that you mentioned, I remember seeing the picture of her at the Abbey back, you know, in her last days, I guess. And it's also, it's very, um, it almost, it's, it's interesting because it's almost like a church. There's like all the stonework mm -hmm. and wrought iron and, you know, having Elizabeth Taylor there, it's kind of like the gay church. Like yes. everyone, you know, it's like, there's this, yeah, it's like a, the, these like hollowed halls and, you know, there's go-go boys and like drinks and like, it's like a gay church. And speaking of icons, uh, yesterday mm. we went to go see My Week with Marilyn. Yes. Which yes. I'm so happy we saw, and I'm so happy we saw it. Even though it, it takes place, this film takes place in London um, or in England, um, it was nice to be in Hollywood and watch mm. this Marilyn film because it's, she's so iconic. And Michelle Williams gives a brilliant performance, beautiful. Um, and I thought it was a really good story. Mm. And she won the um, Golden Globe for Best Actress for portraying Marilyn. And um, it was, she did a really great job. It was really interesting. I um, was expecting more of, I think, a Marilyn performance, because I think she's so iconic, and we have this idea, and we've seen so many impersonations of her that we have an idea. Um, and her performance, with, Michelle Williams' performance, was very human, and, um, you know, really humanized Marilyn, yeah. which most films and most tributes haven't. So right. it it's definitely a, a good. All. It was. It felt. It felt like an homage. Right. It was. It was lovely. Yeah. I. I haven't seen it. I want to go yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> it's great. It's fantastic. Well, so now uh, you know. I. Uh, my partner and I are in Portland, and um, I was so upset because it. Uh, the film ran for a very limited run there. Mm -hmm. So it was great that we got to see it here. Mm -hmm. um, but speaking of Portland, Portland is a very different place from New York and from Hollywood. I lived in Hollywood several years ago. I won't age myself, but I, I lived here um, with Sassy mm -hmm. several years ago, so it's been a nice return. Um, but the West Coast is so beautiful, so even in Portland, mm -hmm. if you ever get to go Samara, you have to go, because it's gorgeous up there. There's so much greenery, yeah. the people are lovely, there's great food, and girl, you know I like to eat, so. <laughs> now, what about, what about the LGBT scene there? Are you, um... Well, you know, we... There's a bar up there, um, Darcel's. Yes. That is like, uh, it's run, uh, run by yes. Darcel? Darcel. Darcel is a big drag performer oh. in the Portland area and this is a he's in uh, she's in her 80s now oh. um, yeah, like legendary. legendary and she still performs and she purchased this uh, bar years and years ago and it's it's like the place to go see a drag show there's a lot of uh, pageantry involved in this kind of drag in Portland unfortunately I haven't been too um, active in the community yet we're really nesting my partner and I are really happy so we're just making a home and playing with our cats, <laughs> you know? Wow. So, so, yeah. so, so you're in love. You're in love. Yes. <laughs> Very good, much. good, congratulations. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now what, do you miss New York? Or do you miss LA now that you came back here to visit? Um, <clears throat> no, I, I mean, I love LA. I think it's a beautiful city. I, I love that I have so many contacts out here. You too, of course, and um, several people that we went to college with are out here. Um, it's nice to be here. I don't know that I could live here. Um, it's it's a very different culture than New York. What I loved about New York is there's so much culture and there's so much, so much, you know, so many museums, so many things to do, so many things to see. Although I was watching a film the other day and it, and this couple was debating whether or not to move to L.A. and and the the female in this relationship said, um, "No, there's so much culture in New York. Why would we ever leave New York?" 
And her partner says, but we never do any of those things, <laughs> which is so true when you live yeah. in New York, you know, you think, oh, it's all here, but you never really got into it. So right. I'm starting to make peace with Portland. It's been a very difficult transition because it's, it's though it's beautiful, it's just a small city, very small. Well, make sure all of the, the shows out there get in touch with Miss Sheik and uh, get her at your clubs and um, get her out there performing in Portland. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love that.